Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the string operations in UiPath. Okay, so in this video, I am going to explain about two important operations. One is join, and the one is split. In join, we'll see different kind of scenarios. Uh, scenarios like the uh, separator, semicolon, separator, colon, separator, new line like that. Okay, and in split, we'll we'll see the example how we can split the data. Okay. So, so this is my agenda today, join and split operations, okay, as you can see on the screen, okay. So, let's get into the scenario and uh, execute it here, okay. So, I have taken one uh, empty workflow, I have pulled the one sequence here. So, in this, what I'll do is, I'll create one input variable, that is something like input, okay. So, first I am explaining about the split operation then we will see the join operation okay so here i given something like hello world so this is done and i'll take this one as uh, result so we are splitting based on the space here so we'll get two words hello and world so for that we have to use array of strings okay so i have taken this array and I am taking it into the string type. That's it. So now what I'll do is I'll take this assign uh, assign activity here, and I'll take this input input dot split. I'll take this one split. I am doing based on the space. Okay. So let's see if uh, if we give like this, what will happen? This is again a space. What will happen? We'll see. Okay see here it is showing like compiler cannot able to convert the string into the character so the split function expecting a character but we are giving this empty string so for that what we have is there is a very useful function called ccar so it will convert a string into the character i have given one space here that's it that's it now since it is an array of strings we need to use this for each loop to loop through each and every one yes and this item type is string directly that's it now we'll use as of now i'm just displaying message box item that's it i'm saving it here i hope you understood here i have taken one variable and i am splitting based on the space that is given here and i am assigning that to the string st array of strings result and i am looping to each and every one okay so let's execute this so one we got hello hello and the one is like world okay so I hope you guys clear about this. If you have any doubt, please mention in a comment section so that I can come back to you. Now I'm going to explain about the join function. Okay. So I'm going to delete this one. I'll delete everything. Now I'm deleting these two as well. It's like I'm starting from the fetch again. Okay, so here for join function, uh, what the join will expect is is the input as an enumerator type. It will expect. So I'm giving this input input variable and this. Let's go to the browse type. Here you type i enumerable, i enumerable. You can see here this is string. This is a um, generic type, it is asking for type. We will give int type here and for the next example, we will take a string type, okay. So here I am just giving this uh, basic uh, default values, 1, comma, 2, comma, 3. Please see how this enumerable uh, values, we are, as we are assigning a default values to the enumerable, okay. So here again, I need an output variable, so I am creating one here, result result is this one and uh, yeah let's see 
as an activity I've taken this I've given here and share string dot you just need to type the string and there you have the join function okay let's click on this let's expand this here so here what is the separator you wanted I am giving the separator as pipe symbol okay now next what is the input input is impt right input I have given this impt and I am assigning result rds that's it now let me print that message box message box result that's it let me run this now you can see here this example input I have given 1 comma 2 now I got a string of 1 comma 2 okay. 1 pipe 2 pipe 3 okay this string you can use for split purpose as well again if you want you can use that you take this string for split split based on this pipe symbol and you can extract each and every individual value okay so you have to remember one thing join function will expect innumerable as a uh, parameter okay that is what we need to remember okay now let me instead of pipe let me show you another other symbol like separator will be semicolon i am giving here okay so i am giving semicolon as a separator okay so one comma two comma three which is a string type and you can use it again other string operations to pass this data okay and here we have taken into right so another example what we'll take is string type i enumerable i e n u enumerable of string that's it here it will throw error because we have given integers so here what I will do is I'll give Ravi another one as Teja okay so we got this now um, now what I'll do first like first I'll take this pipe symbol and let me execute this see pipe Ravi's Teja pipe that pipe again you know you can use as part of the string operations and you extract the whatever the data you want and uh, you perform it okay so I hope you guys understood this is a very basic video on the string operations and I'll make few videos on other string operations okay if you have any doubt if you want any other video tutorial please mention in a comment and if you like this video please subscribe the channel so that you can see all my videos in future okay Karthik signing off